Hello guys, welcome to another video with Cass on the Mismo channel. So today I want to show you a command block creation that's really fun to play with. And what it does is when you click on a block, it colors it. And it, it tries to spread the color uh, on a, a area as large as possible. Well, not really as large as possible. I will give you guys the details uh, while, I'll while I talk here because as you can see, it's not the fastest thing in the world. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it was designed in Minecraft 1.9, but in the pre-releases, so it's more than two years old <laughs> when I'm posting this video. Yeah, but I couldn't do this uh, at the time. So as you can see, it tries to flood as much as possible of the area, but some spots will fail like this. But this is not actually a fail. This is more of a safety uh, feature. Uh, what happens is this was supposed that you work on servers and on a server you can have hundreds of thousands of blocks connected to each other so if you have one player clicking on the floor uh, you might have this thing running forever if you don't have if you don't add any safety measures to it uh, as you can see it also won't go through diagonals and i can pick blocks anywhere so basically i can pick the white color from here once again and click anywhere like here and it will try to spread again so yeah, it spreads in a, in a weird way, kind of weird way, but it's not random or anything. It just picks one direction and goes as far as possible. But I'm using uh, the, the clouds to do this. And what I do in order to, to make sure that this thing will stop without breaking an entire server is I, I set those clouds on a timer. So when they spawn, they have like 20 or 24 ticks, I don't know, to, to live. Uh, if they don't get a chance to spread and uh, during this time they die automatically so this will never break your server so yeah this happened once again so it's this is configurable so if i set this timer to a big number uh, it will always fill the entire area but it's also more dangerous uh yeah uh it's, it also works in 3d so uh check this out this is a cool application so you see this uh this obsidian block so if I pick glass now, I can click anywhere and it will turn into glass. Uh, so I can see what's inside. So this could be a nice feature maybe for uh, a adventure map, something like this. Or <laughs> if I want to hide it, once again, I could pick the obsidian, click on it again, and then it would fill everything up again. Uh, it can also do uh, weird shapes like this. So let me demonstrate this. So select color and if I click somewhere like here it will all be gold guys <laughs> so this is pretty cool this is really really fun to play with uh, and there's a really this is just a little task that I had to run just to show you guys that uh, let's pick a color what color should I use maybe a brown uh, just to show that even even if the algorithm has only one opportunity to spread to the other side it will take the opportunity and oh I picked another color so let me just use this color <laughs> this was a mistake and yeah it will complete the task so let's pick another color to revert this I think it was this and then click on the middle as well just to see what happens and there it go guys <laughs> So yeah, this is a basic flood fill algorithm. I made this um, a long time ago and of course for 1.13 I intend to make a new version of this. This should be a lot easier to make in 1.13 uh, Hopefully uh, But yeah, that's about it. I made it about the time when I made my Vanilla world edit if you guys haven't seen the showcase video uh, please check the video description there is a link also in the end of the video there are links to related things with my command block creations if you are interested uh, if you want to see more uh, i don't do only command blocks i do mostly survival and redstone on this channel so you can subscribe if you want to see more so thank you very much for watching guys and see you later bye